Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how I plan my engagement party and just all of the things that went into it, where I got everything from, all of that sort of stuff. So stay tuned if you are interested in finding a little bit about the planning process, which I'm going to tell you now, it's actually quite a lot of work. I hadn't realized how involved the entire process was, and I imagine it's going to be just as bad, if not worse, for the wedding. Um, but essentially, the reason why Luke and I decided to have an engagement party is because we're going to be having a very small and intimate wedding ceremony. So we thought, so that we could celebrate our engagement with all of our friends and family, it made sense to throw an engagement party. Um, now, we ended up going ahead with Wellington. Luke's actually from Auckland, and part of the reason we did this is... Um, my family's had a pretty hard time this year. Um, I'm not really ready to talk about it, but um, yeah, we've had just a really difficult time and we thought it was just going to be a bit easier on my family if we did it in Wellington rather than kind of getting them to have to travel all the way up to Auckland, even though it's only an hour flight. So we, once we decided on the, on the location, we then had to pick a venue. and. Luke and I are both, you know, we're fans of the water. We lived in Bondi when we first moved to Sydney, so we we're at the beach every single weekend. So we kind of knew we wanted to do something that was near the waterfront. So we ended up going ahead with the rowing club venue, which I think fits about 180 standing comfortably. Um, you could definitely get a lot more people than that in there if you wanted to, just cocktail style. But so we sort of felt that that was going to be the right size for us. Um, and I decided to go ahead and book about six months ahead and luckily they had the dates that we were looking at available so we kind of went with a date in mind we decided to do it over Labor Weekend just so that we could have a longer weekend away so Pauline who actually helped us to book the venue and answered all of my crazy questions she was so helpful so super helpful really really lovely um, and it was just such an easy process as well and it was great because all of the um, supplies that we ended up using were very familiar with the location and I think in Wellington I mean it's such a small city that it's hard not for them to be but I found that that was really helpful in terms of invitations because that was kind of the next step once we had the venue sorted and we picked a time um, and for us we decided to start at 6 30 uh, we we sent out invitations using paperless post I'll pop a link to them down below just in case you haven't heard of them before but essentially it's this free online service that allows you to send invitations well, everything and I heard about it when I was working in my um, last role and yeah I just found it was such an easy process you know you just have to put everybody's emails in which can be a little bit tedious but you can export them from a Excel file I think and then you can send reminder emails you can track all of your RSVPs it's just really easy to use so I did that for our invitations so when it came to you know drinks and alcohol um, we kind of decided to let our supplier provide us with enough for to cover the party so I, um, I actually used to manage bars when I was studying so I have a few contacts in the hospitality industry in Wellington so I got in touch with one of my old contacts who placed me in touch with somebody else at Glengarry and they were hugely helpful so we ended up having an account where we were able to basically get more than we needed and then we could send whatever we didn't use back which was so amazing because I mean since Luke and I don't live in Wellington it would have been really difficult for us to figure out what to do with all of the booze afterwards if we we had to keep it. When it came to catering, I just spent a lot of time looking for something that was suitable. Uh, you may not know this, but I'm vegetarian. I also eat seafood. So Luke and I, we have this huge love of seafood and we sort of thought it would be great to be able to incorporate that into our menu for the party. So we ended up going with Simply Food and the food was amazing. Everybody commented on how good it was and there was so much of it as well. And they were actually, they were wonderful because what I hadn't realized when I booked them was that they provided Provided us with five staff so we had a woman who was going around and topping up everybody's champagne glasses we had another girl who was just behind the bar for anyone who you know came in or who wanted to grab a drink then we also had the girls who were going around with the platters of food and then we had the chef in the kitchen as well so we, um, we ended up getting things like power fritters which if you're not familiar with power because that's a New Zealand phrase it's um, abalone. We had white bait fritters, which are kind of like the little small fish. Um, 
lots of little things like that there are a few vegetarian options so yeah that was the caterer which was great and then for the AV um, I actually didn't realize that I needed to get AV um, I just assumed that it came with the menu but it didn't so we had to outsource that and um, it was probably about three or four weeks before the party and I contacted AV services in Wellington I didn't really look around and I'm kind of glad that I didn't because it's a family-run business the guy who came to install everything was really great um, made it really easy for me to understand how to kind of switch between the microphone and the music and the sound was good it wasn't too loud or anything like that I mean I could adjust the volume myself but it just made things really easy and yeah they knew the space again so that helped so one of the things with having a venue like the rowing club is that it's a blank canvas. So I kind of knew in advance that I wanted to do a few little bits and pieces around the space to be able to make it look a little bit more, I don't know, more inviting, I guess. So one of the first things that I did was I decided I was going to create a photo booth. And I mean like F-A-U-X dash T-O booth. So that's why I've been calling it this entire time. So I ended up hiring some panels to attach some gold fabric to, which I'll show you in a minute. But um, I got the panels from Displayways New Zealand and they were fantastic. Uh, then what I did was I attached oh, this fabric and this is like gold Barclay fabric. It's amazing. So fun. So um, I stapled that to the panels and then that was kind of our backdrop. And then what I had done on the other side was, and I'll insert a clip of this all, um, is I had bought these little pegs and I got the pegs and, where did I get the pegs from? I got the pegs and the string from Sweet Pea Parties New Zealand. So it's a New Zealand party store, but essentially, and again, I'll show you close ups, but it's like these little pegs that I attached and then I, white string with silver through it. And this was just so that people could clip their Polaroids to it. So, you know, you could just like go like this and attach it to the string. So I thought that was really, a, you know, I thought that was a good idea because obviously we want to be able to keep some of the memories that people made that night, but we also wanted people to be able to take them home with them as well. So I had an Instax camera. So this was the whole idea of the photo booth. And I bought this from Digital Camera Warehouse. I just got a white one. And then I bought a whole bunch of film. And I got about 100 bits of film. So that was 10 of these boxes. And where did I buy them from? I got them from Camera Paradise. So I'll drop the link for that down below. But it was so affordable. I think it was about $120 including shipping. So I thought that was amazing to get 10 boxes of these. Because these are around $20 usually per 10 rolls of 10 pack of film so I mean, it can be quite expensive so yeah that was that um, we ended up going and getting a whole bunch of props so I got them from Too Cheap in Wellington and then my girlfriend went and picked a couple up from Spotlight as well which is where the fabric is from and I used this basket that I found at my parents place just to pop everything into which worked out very well because I don't again hadn't thought too much about what I was going to do otherwise you can tell a little bit of this was done on the fly but yeah so that was kind of everything it went a treat so like I've got all of these photos I've got so many so many photos from the night it was great it's just sort of nice that everyone enjoyed it it was one of those things that after a few drinks people will go and get silly put on a couple of props like a hat and I know some funny glasses and just take some really fun photos. I just love that and I think it really added to the night. Um, then the next thing was decor. So I decided that I wanted to get some really big balloons and I don't know if you've ever seen those 90 centimeter helium balloons but that's what I decided I wanted to get and i would seen these confetti balloons everywhere and I thought those would be a great idea. While they do look really cool I don't actually think I would purchase them again. I probably would have just gone for the normal ones. So I purchased the confetti balloons from Poppies for Grace and I think they're about $18 each so they're really expensive and then you've also got to pay for the helium to go inside them so it is a very expensive exercise to have them. I actually bought some blush ones as well. I got the blush balloons from Lark Store. So those were about $7 each and I feel like they're a bit more affordable. And also from Poppies for Grace, I grabbed these confetti, just like confetti boxes and it's filled with like pink and gold and peachy colored confetti and this was just thrown and scattered all over the tables. With the balloons, the other thing that I did was I went and grabbed balloon weights and some string and I bought those from House of Party. 
To fill out the balloons, I went to Hire Master and I grabbed their, I think it's the $162 canister of um, helium, which was more than enough for us. We also had some smaller balloons, which I got those from House of Party too. So I've got some notes here because I can't remember everything off the top of my head. I got that and I think it's meant to fill up 130 centimeter balloons so for us we already knew we were going to have more helium than we needed and I don't think I filled up the 9 centimeter balloons as much as I could have but honestly like with some of them I found that they were lifting the weights up they were just so filled with helium. So what we did was we did one big 90 centimeter balloon and then two or three of the 40 centimeter clear balloons and that I sort of felt was a good mix and because it's windy in Wellington we had this <laughs> just really early on in the night one of the confetti balloons because I had it slightly near the door to the balcony it just got picked up by a gust of wind and just flew off into the atmosphere which devastates me because I know how bad that is so yeah, I wasn't, <laughs> wasn't too thrilled about that. Aside from that, they looked really cool um, and the, the helium lasted all night. We went back the next day and it was still all filled up, so that was awesome. Then for the tables, we were actually provided the tables again by Simply Food, so they were wonderful because they provided us with all the glassware as well. That was all included in our fee and they just covered them with this kind of black cover and then I popped the confetti all over the tables and then I had gone out and I bought some flowers just because I thought that would be a nice touch and also some little vases which I got those from Too Cheap as well and I just popped those on the table with some bubbles which those were from Too Cheap as well. You can, you can tell I tried to limit the number of places that I went and visited while I was home just to make things easier on myself. I had I think five bunches of flowers and they were mostly white. I think there was just one bunch of red flowers and yeah, it just added a little extra something to the space and I think it really needed that. Yeah, so we ended up inviting um, about 180 people and we had approximately 110 people there on the evening. So it was a good number of people to have in the space and it wasn't too crowded or anything like that. And then I also feel like when we did speeches, everyone could hear and it wasn't you know, overwhelming or anything like that. One thing I will say that I haven't realized is trying to talk to 110 people is near impossible in such a short period of time. Luke and I were probably tag teaming around the room trying to talk to all of our friends and family and there's definitely a lot of people that I wish that I had more time to speak with um, just because it was, yeah, just so hard, particularly at the beginning of the night when everyone starts coming in and they're coming up to you to say hello and you're talking to someone else and it was just, I, <laughs> I have to say that was probably the one, one thing is that it's just too hard to talk to everybody and I wish it wasn't because you know, like I said, I, I would have liked to have talked to everybody a lot more than I got to. The other thing was, and I was not expecting at all, was a lot of people bought presents and we, Luke and I, we, we didn't want that at all. We, we definitely said to everyone not to bring any presents, but what I haven't realized was that the caterers had set up a table for gifts. It was like they'd anticipated it or something like that. And um, that ended up being quite good because everyone could put their gifts there. Um, so now what I'm in the process of doing is getting everybody's addresses so that I can send everyone thank you cards and also what I was thinking of doing because we've got all these Polaroids is sending them a thank you card with the Polaroid of them in it. So I just thought that would be a nice little reminder of the evening. Yeah, so that was how I planned my engagement party. Uh, I hope you guys found this really interesting and if you do live in Wellington, I hope that this is helpful if you're planning an event of your own. But we had such an amazing night and if you are one of my friends and you're watching this and you came, thank you so much. Like, I actually think I, I started crying when, when we did the speeches because I was so overwhelmed with how many people were there and it's just, yeah. <laughs> It was just really nice to be able to see everyone and have everyone celebrate with us. Like I said, I hope this was helpful. If you liked it, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.